Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Danielle Chantel and we're here with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a well overdue Brazilian sugaring and waxing video, okay? So guys, let me go back because I forget. I forget when I did this video. Let me go back. So this is my second rated most popular video on YouTube. I did this video two years ago. It's called Brazilian Waxing versus Sugaring. Save yourself the pain with over 86,000 views, okay? I did this video when I discovered Brazilian Sugaring um, pretty much two, three years ago. And since then, I haven't gone back. So I'm here to do like an updated video. I also wanna answer some questions based on the comments that were left in this video and also to clear up some things because I feel like people are misunderstanding. Again, disclaimer, I can only go based off of my personal experience and what works for me may not work for you. Some people have, some people may have a better experience with tradi traditional Brazilian waxing and some people have a better experience with Brazilian sugaring. So for me personally, as a woman of color, my skin loves sugaring. It has cleared up a lot of dark spots, not only in my cookie area, but under my armpits. I get my armpits sugared and I get my vaginal area sugared as well. And one thing that I've noticed with my underarms is that it is light. When I tell you it's light, it's like my skin light. And when I ruined that process was when we went into lockdown and I just couldn't stand the hair under my arms anymore and then I started to shave. Shaving will restart the process of sugaring. Do not make that mistake. I made the mistake of shaving my underarm, shaving my cooter. Pretty much had to start over a bit. Um, gave myself back some dark marks that had went away from sugaring in the first place. And since we reopened, I have not gone back to shaving. I will let the hair grow till thy kingdom come. And then go get me a, a wax, girl, because there's no way I can go back to shaving. So before I answer the questions, I want to talk to you guys about what I did during the lockdown when, you know, we couldn't go to our services and all of that stuff. So my lady was closed for, for a while, obviously due to the pandemic. So I was going to another place called Wax Exo in Streetsville, Mississauga amazing services i had a vajay show there there was a girl of a girl of color <laughs> she was doing my waxing she did my vaginal wax she did my underarms and it was an amazing experience she took her time she was super clean their services are really good and i also got some products from there such as like exfoliating stuff to help you know with the dark spots and like any risen areas and stuff like that and i enjoyed my experience um when we went back into lockdown like i had mentioned before i had shaved worst experience of my life i was in so much pain i was getting a lot of ingrown hairs a lot of cysts like i discussed discussed in my first video and it just wasn't a good experience so I had tried to make my own sugaring thing girl and it burnt it didn't work well I didn't make it right I don't know what I did wrong but it didn't work and I went and did my research and I found this excuse the jar it's a bit messy but I found this um brand called wax away you gotta use um wax strips with this and pretty much you just warm it up a little bit in the microwave you work it into your underarms or your vaginal area you use the waxing strips okay these are the little waxing strips that came with mine you use these and you just and amazing experience i had the same results as if i were going to my waxing lady this is the box if you guys are interested again ignore it it has like wax all over it i don't know if my camera is focusing it has wax all over the box ignore that girl but that is what i was using after my bad experience with shaving um since going back to my lady the hairs are growing thin thin as ever and i'm going to give you guys an average so i started going back to her i believe in august and i've had two waxing sessions since, since then for both my underarms and my cooter and that's because like my hair doesn't start growing back until about three months after my wax and the hair is super 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 thin and all the dark spots that i had gotten from shaving are pretty much gone right 
So sugaring is pretty much, I believe it's like water, sugar, and lemon juice. In its most natural state, you guys know lemon is good for lightening anyways. It, you boil it, you mix it, you do all this stuff, and you're able to kind of stretch it and work it like a ball of wax. And pretty much the process is spreading, grabbing and spreading, grabbing and spreading, grabbing and spreading. And every time she grabs and she grabs and spreads and pulls, she's pulling out the hair, and you're pulling the hair from the root. Now, based on the comments I saw in this video, some people had great experiences with sugaring, some people didn't. And I was one of the people that had amazing experiences from sugaring, so was my best friend friend so is my other friend and I just feel like it's just one of those things you have to try to see if you like it because it may not work for everybody my experience is is that when I did regular Brazilian waxing I was in pain okay my skin was sore it was um red from like I guess my skin being peeled off I had bumps like I had a rash all over it was just painful and I said to myself after that I'm like I will never get a wax again but then I did my research with sugaring ended up finding the lady like two minutes from my house and since then I have not gone back so I want to answer um a few questions here uh or just a few responses it says there should never be double dipping. If they double dip, do not go back to that person. So I guess that person is just talking about double dipping from Brazilian waxing. Some people do double dip. It's not a good thing because infections and all of that stuff. And it's just not sanitary nor clean. This person says a Brazilian wax does not rip your skin. Brazilian wax is a surface that can be done with hard or soft wax. Brazilian wax can also be done with sugar wax as well. I think you're thinking of socks, soft wax that rips the top layer of the epidermis. Hard wax, saran wrap around the hair and removes. Okay, I don't know anything of that nature. If you do waxing, girl, sure. But I only know that regular Brazilian waxing... I didn't have a good experience with that. I only had a good experience with Brazilian sugaring. Regular Brazilian waxing with the waxing stick and whatever kind of wax, the balls of wax they melt down. I did not have a good experience with that. So this person says, oh, oh, oh. This person says, sugaring is the best. At first it was way more expensive than a wax as more salons offer it and are competent competent with the price they have become more reasonable in price i can do my underarms but down below but not down below sugaring only sticks the hair not the skin she said it for me personally when i did the waxing it ripped my skin i don't know what kind of wax that was but if i if i have a bad experience with that form of waxing i'm not going to get that form of waxing again i don't know if it was hard wax or soft wax like i said again i didn't have a great experience so I like sugaring. Somebody says, I tried sugaring. It was extremely painful. I still felt sore days still felt sore days later and broke out a little. Somebody commented said, well, whoever you went to definitely did not do it correctly, honestly. I feel no pain at all after my sugaring appointments. I agree. I didn't have any pain after my sugaring appointments. Again, it varies per individual. Some people may be in pain, some people not. And I feel like one thing people mix, mix up when it comes to the beauty industry is that you cannot compare your experience with other people's experience. So just because I come out here and I say Brazil, um, Brazilian sugaring is amazing, it makes my skin thin, and it doesn't rip my skin, and all of these things, it doesn't mean your experience is going to be the same. Some people are very well educated at their job and do their jobs really well. Some people aren't. And that's when it comes to you not having a great experience or it could just be your skin is not agreeing with the process. Somebody said, I don't understand why people keep saying sugaring is less painful. You are still pulling hair from the root. I have did both and they both hurt. Nobody is saying that sugaring is going... Nobody said that sugaring is not painful. I find it not as painful as your traditional Brazilian waxing <clears throat> with the harder soft wax and the waxing stick, whatever that process is. I don't find it as painful. Then again, my pain tolerance is pretty good. I can, I've had my nose pierced, I've had my belly button pierced, I've had my things pierced, and to me, they feel like a pinch. Some people may say the pain is a 10. Some people may say the pain is a 1. So then again, everybody has different pain tolerance when it comes to these processes. So this is why I don't like to compare everybody's experience with my experience and vice versa. Somebody says, I just got sugared for the first time and it is so much better. Love that for you, sis, because I feel you. When I tell you, like... 
I will never shave again. Like, I will never shave again. I got my Brazilian, like, done, my Brazilian sugaring process done, like, a month and a half ago. And girl, it's still looking clean down there, okay? No hair in sight. No hair in sight. And when it does come back, they're so thin. So when you go back to get it done again, it literally feels like nothing. It literally feels like nothing. It's, it's the best process for me. Again. Um... Somebody said this was really helpful. Girl, I'm glad it was helpful because not everybody has a great experience and it's good to know what you're getting yourself into before putting yourself in the power seat because sometimes the power ain't that good, girl. <laughs> um, this video, this person says, this video needs more likes. The way you explained everything thoroughly was so great. I'm very slow when it comes to things and I understood you so clearly. So thank you for that. How long does the hair need to be before sugaring? Um, I said to that person, I would say a quarter of an inch to an inch long, don't shave before you go, you'll regret it. And this is going to be the last question or response that I read because when I tell you guys that when I shaved and I went back to my lady to get my sugaring done after a long period of time, like that pain tolerance that I told you guys was a three trickled up to about a nine or a ten. I was like... <sighs> Like, I felt like I was about to give birth. Like, it was, the hair was so thick, you could visibly see. It was thick, long, thick strands of black hair. But I felt so good after the process. I didn't have any itching or tenderness or rashes or bumps after the process because it, the hairs were long and it was sensitive. All I did when I came home was just rinse the area. You usually want to wait about two to three days after getting your sugaring done to exfoliate the area. And exfoliating on top of getting your sugaring done does help diminish those blemishes and dark marks in your vaginal area as well as your underarms. Um, I love, I don't know, can I, what are my underarms looking like? Let me see if I can show you guys because, let me see. Yeah, so this is what my underarm looks like, girl. The hair is starting to grow back just a little bit, but when I tell you guys my underarms were as dark as night, it was the midnight sky. Like, it was really dark from shaving, and I feel like women need to be a lot more educated when it comes to taking care of your body, especially when it comes to the beauty process, because this is a part of my, my skin care, my beauty care. Like, my waxing is a part of that because I don't feel whole or feel good when there's hair all over. That's just something that I'm not comfortable with. So seeing, like, my armpits lighten over time with this process has been amazing. Same thing with my vaginal area. Like, as a woman of color, we're more prone to hyperpigmentation, and that's not something that is appealing. Like, if I could tell you guys the most part, like the part of my body that I was the most insecure about was down there because I was just like, I'm looking at it and I'm like, sister, what's going on? Like there's discoloration, scars from the cysts and all of those things, Bartholian cysts, whatever they're called, like all of those things that I was getting from just not properly educating myself when it came to waxing or shaving, it was happening to me and I, I just didn't like it. So I made sure I did my research on sugaring and what was best for me as a woman of color because there's not, not like I said, what works for others may not work for you and you don't want to just get up and try something because somebody says it. You want to make sure you properly educate yourself on it. So just pretty much giving you guys my two to three year review on sugaring. I'm still getting it done. I get my sugaring done every two to three months personally because the more you get it done and the more you're consistent with it the longer period of time you can go without doing it over and over again right some people grow hair really fast and have to get their waxing done more than normal i'm one of those people where the hair grows super thin thinner than dental floss honey and i only have to go about every two to three months so it's been a great experience for me this is just a quick update video on how sugaring has gone for me and now me properly educating myself on the difference between um, Brazilian soft and hard waxing and sugaring. Again, I don't know much about the hard and soft waxing, but I do understand that now that I could have gone a little bit deeper on 
just Brazilian waxing and not shaming Brazilian waxing or people do the, the people that do the hard and soft wax because again what works for me may not work for you and some people just generally have a better experience with the hard and soft wax versus sugaring so I hope you guys enjoyed this updated video on my Brazilian waxing versus sugaring video so there's Brazilian sugaring and then Brazilian hard and soft waxing so I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember to like comment and subscribe if you guys haven't seen my video, my original video on this, go ahead and click in the cards above. I think it's somewhere up here or here. Girl, you see it. Just click it. Watch it. Tell me what you guys think. If you have any questions, again, feel free to comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.